and my love in Avalon beside the bay. I left my love in Avalon and sailed away. I dream of her and Avalon from dusk till dawn. And so I think I'll travel on to those little shots. All the big shots are here. You know, a hundred years ago, Catalina used to be the hangout for some of the most notorious pirates that ever scuttled a ship. But nowadays, it's the rendezvous for many of our Hollywood friends who scuttle over here in their yachts to enjoy a little bit of up-to-date buccaneering. Randolph Scott and Cary Grant, who claim that they came over in that little schooner because they can get more miles to the galleon. Captain Blood, Errol Flynn, and his charming wife, Lily Demeter. With a girl like Lily at home, no wonder the captain hates the sea. Come out from behind that chassis. <laughs> Mickey Rooney, eh? When it comes to food, that kid is some stowaway. You're sure making old Captain Morris pretty hungry. <laughs> <laughs> nice work. Well, friends, Eddie Peabody has just proven he's a small-time fisherman. <laughs> but believe me, he's a two-time banjo player. Ah, it's just a shrimp. All right, mate. Anchors away. Well, here's an invitation of 50 banjos. Are you listening? Here we go. <laughs>
screen, Marion Davies. Say, Miss Bruce, how about coming up here with me? All right, if you won't come up here, I'll come down there. <laughs> ah, here comes the bosun's mate now, Leon Errol. Well, what's on your mind, man? I... Oh. oh, so that's it. A fine specimen of a sailor. You were seasick the last voyage. Speak up, man! I... <laughs> I'll loosen your tongue for you. I'll give you one more chance. You speak up, or by golly, you'll walk the plank. I know what you need. You need a nice ocean voyage with Commodore Johnny Downs and Betty Burgess. That sounds like a music cue for um, smooth sailing. We haven't got an awful lot, baby, but I've got you, baby, you've got me. Just the same, baby, wait and see. We're gonna have smooth sailing, smooth sailing. Like a ship at sea, we'll merrily breeze along. We're gonna have smooth sailing, smooth sailing. Where the breeze may blow, we'll merrily roll along. Never mind about the weather, let it rain or let it shine. We're going to have smooth sailing, smooth sailing. On a happy tide, we'll merrily ride along. in the fifth boat was. Uh, make a note of that. Aye, aye, sir. Say, some cabin boy you've turned out to be. What do you mean, coming on deck in my dress uniform? I wanted to see how it felt to be a captain, sir. Yeah, well, how does it feel? It, it itches. Attention! Say, why only two medals on the uniform? What did you do with the other 38? I didn't have time to get them off your pajamas, sir. If you ever make another ocean voyage, it'll be in rags! 12th Street rag, sir? <laughs> now, that's pretty clever of us, wasn't it? You see how we just got into that queue? 12th Street rag? <laughs> okay, Buddy Rogers, take it away.
that one of my crew believes in efficiency. <laughs> Congratulations. And a voice in. A string of pearls. Yeah, I just found those in an oyster. Hey, I think you got one of my teeth with them. Hey, listen. I hire you to guard my treasure, not to steal it. Yes, sir. Pick up that gun. Let me see how you are with it. I'm Attention! Not. Present! Arms! Keep that up, the next order I'll give you will be farewell to arms. That's a good joke. I yeah. Like yeah. Now listen, how do we stand on the books? You mean the money? Yeah. Well, we got about nine million eight hundred forty-six thousand three hundred forty dollars and fifty-two cents. Good. Yeah, and I got a couple of nickels in here if you want them. Splendid, splendid silvers. Yes. As Lee Tracy says, now we're in the money. Hey, that's a nice way you got in that queue, Chester. Oh, thanks, Ed. <laughs>